Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Dear students, today we will discuss on Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala. He is the fourth caliph of Islam. Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala was born 600 CE, that means Christian era. And he is the cousin of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His pet name Abul Hassan and Abu Turab. And you know, Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala and he is the husband of our Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's daughter Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala is one of the greatest people in the history of the world. And his father, father's name is Abu Talib. And he is paternal uncle of our, our Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And another very interesting thing is about Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala that is and he is the first Sahabi and among the boys that time he is just 10 years old. And you know when Prophet Muhammad migrated to Madina from Mecca and that time everybody know that and everybody believed that that Prophet Muhammad is very a believed person, trusted man and also we can say in Amanuddar and when Prophet Muhammad went to uh, went to uh, go Medina, migrate to Medina that night, the Kafirs or the Mushriks, they are waiting for kill the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and just outside of the house of the room uh, or house of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and that time Prophet Muhammad told others Ali to take his seat, to take his way and that type of risk uh, taken by Ali Ta'ala, that is great sacrifice and Hazrat Ali Adila Taranu later and he is one of the writers, those they written Hudaibya Treaty. And you know when the people of Prophet Muhammad went to Makkah for victory, that time the Muslims soldiered their flag on the hand of Hazrat Ali Adila Taran. And you know in Islam the first battle is Badr. That Badr was very important for good Muslim. Ummah and that uh, the brother Hazrat Ali Adarno performed well and for a heroism performance Prophet Muhammad gifted him a sword the sword the name of that sword is Zulfikar we know that everybody we know that thing another important thing is in the uh, where of Khaybar the Kamus fort Kamus fort that time Hazrat Ali Adarno Allah Prophet uh, Prophet Muhammad gave him the title the Allah's lion that means Asadullah Asad means lion and Asadullah the Allah's lion Asadullah to tell me is uh, Allah's lion and Hazrat Ali Adhita was a very talented person from his very childhood and you know uh, it said that somebody said uh, it is also Hadith or not I'm not sure that Prophet Muhammad is the city of knowledge and its gate is Hazrat Ali Adhita and he uh, known in Arabic literature, uh, Arabic, Tafsir, Quran and literature and also there is a very uh, very important Arabic literature book Dewan Ali written by Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala and Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala and Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala they lead a very simple life and even when the uh, Ali radiallahu become the Khalifa of the Muslim Ummah even that time Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala could not take any servant for his home Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha did everything by, his, by her own hand. So, as a follower of Prophet Muhammad as a follower of Prophet Muhammad we know the Hassan Hassan radiallahu ta'ala and Hussain radiallahu ta'ala, they are the queen leader of Jannat for young men. So, his, their father is Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala, the fourth caliph of Islam and the cousin of Prophet Muhammad and he is very respected man, respected people and his Jannati people, Allah said, uh, Prophet Muhammad said that the 10 people they got the good news for Jannat. Hazrat Ali is one of them. So, as a follower of Prophet Muhammad, we should love our Hazrat Ali. We have to follow his lifestyle, we have to follow his everything. He is an educated man, he is a polite man, he is a follower, he is the first Sahabi among the boys. So, my respected students, especially class 9 and class 10 English version and our Islam religion book, they the model life and the fourth caliph of us, Ali Radiallahu 
today we discussed about Ariyad Allah Taala. Thank you so much. Next time, inshallah, we'll talk again in any other topic. Assalamualaikum.